Hey you guys. Well, the steam engines, huh? <laughs> I know it's kind of slow going, but uh, uh, we're getting there. We're getting there, you know. And uh, uh, today I'm going to get the uh, cylinder head done. And I'm just going to show you real quick on how I plan to do it. Uh, kind of, a, I think it's, it'll be a good process and. Uh, Try, I've got four of them to do, and uh, so I, I want to try to do them expeditiously. Uh, so uh, let me turn you around here. Let's take a look. Four heads I have to do right here. Two for the aluminum ones and for the brass engine also. Now, these ends are the ones with the glands, and they have the large boss on them. And these ones have this the logo on them for the other end. Uh, these are very rough. You know, they're castings. Uh, they're not perfectly round. This is not in the middle. This has draft on it. Uh, there's all sorts of all sorts of problems here, a holdiness and and everything. Now, here's a cylinder, and they're plenty big enough as you, as you can see. There's over an eighth of an inch. Uh, around there So we got quite a bit to take off uh, we'll we'll turn the outside Down and we'll end up on this end. We'll end up getting rid of this completely And we'll have a small boss that will fit the bore of the cylinder uh, That will stick up on here and this side we won't do anything to It'll be just the rough casting now on these we'll have this has to be the gland. This part here will, this boss will 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 stick out from the engine, and it'll be, yeah, uh, it, uh, it will be the gland <laughs> for the piston rod. Uh, so we have to drill through on this one, and we'll turn the outside, and we'll face off this, and we'll put a little boss on this side also to stick out. So we have a lot of holding. Uh, you know challenges here I should say uh, th this is this is not even close to the middle so uh, I don't really want to hold that and turn it oh, I have to put in a four jaw I'd have to do that uh, so what I'm thinking of is this uh, I've used this uh, several times on other projects and uh, what I've done before on this I've, I've used the double stick uh, to attach work to I put this I'll put this in the chuck you know away now this is oh five inches across what I'm thinking is uh, some double stick on there this on there and I will figure out where I want to spin it at as far as a center point goes All right and what I'll do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to roughly figure out the center of the out of the OD of this and go from there <laughs> type of thing. And if I figure it out, I'll put a center punch mark in it. I'll get it centered up on the lathe and press against this with a live center and against the double stick kind of to glue it on there. I might I might just take this and just buff it a little bit with some emery on a surface. Uh, it's I can feel it rocks a little bit. So I'll probably have to do that. I, I want to leave it rough though. I didn't really want to have to do any work on that. It'll look a lot better if it's rough. Well we'll see. We'll just we'll press it on there and see how well that I took a skim cut across the face. It's just like when you're using a center in here in your chuck or something. You always got to take a cut on it to make sure it's going to be true. So I took a, I took about ten thousandths off the face of that and made sure it's true. So we're gonna, I, I marked, I center punched the mark the, on all the centers of, of all the heads. Put that up in here and feel for the center on the there and. Feel, feel. 
Now, I did not put any double stick on, and I don't think I'm going to. Going to. And I'm going to snug that up good and tight on there. And I don't think I'll have to. There, This is aluminum, and this is aluminum. There's a lot of friction between aluminum and aluminum, so uh, I think I'm going to be able to just go in here and do what I need to do type of thing. Now, the jaws are sticking out quite a bit. This is a safety thing. If your jaws are sticking out a lot like that, you'd be very careful. You get you get your hand in the way and you get hit by that. You know, you get hit by one of these jaws sticking out, it will hurt. enough off till it's cleaned up and then I'll measure it. I have quite a bit I have to take off so oh see I still not cleaned up all the way. Well, I have to go, I have to remove about a quarter of an inch of material on a diameter, so we're going to take a big chunk out of it. Here. I'm gonna now I want to go in here and cut in till I get my shoulder on my boss. Now the, the final thickness is supposed to be about an eighth of an inch on this. So we have a lot there. <laughs> That's a little bit better finish. That'll be fine. And we got our boss formed. All we have to do is face off the top of our boss to get rid of that. Here we go. Got yeah, pretty good. That'll be, uh, it even looks kind of centered, huh? Didn't look too bad. Center punch mark, just like before.
came out pretty nice. There's the logo. Even looks pretty centered. Yeah, pretty happy with that. That's uh, going to look good. Go wild. I got the other ones up here now. I decided to put the hole in the middle of the boss. There's a, plenty of material I can remove, and I think it'll look just a lot better. Uh, so I found as close as I could to the center of the boss, put my mark, and that's what we're holding it at. And I'm going. To, I'm not going to face this out here. This is the outside. I'd like to leave it that rough finish the, from the casting. So I'm not going to turn that or this. I'm just going to round it up and get it to diameter uh, on this side. Now the other face that's against here will have to get faced. Done with the face plate turning, I think. These uh, are coming out really nice. These are going to work out, I think, really, really well. They look, see, that even looks pretty good in the center, I think. Looks, that's, when we get the bores in there, we'll be able to see that. So those are, those are good. And these are here, I cut these off. This band sawed that off. Oh. And uh, those are looking pretty good, too. And the logos are pretty much in the center even. They came out pretty good. And these uh, these are gonna be on there. That, it came out just perfect. It's gonna look, uh, gonna look pretty good. Gonna be on there like that. Come out just right. I'm gonna like that, I'm gonna like it. Okay. Stay tuned for the next one. We'll get the next one. I don't know if we'll get those, these all finished because there's a lot of work in these in these bores, but we're going to try. So thank you guys. Thanks everybody for watching. Please subscribe and we'll get these engines done. We will get them done. They're coming along really nice. Really happy with this. Thank you. Now we'll do the brass one. Just kind of center it up on the 